I'm Jeff Henderson, a trumpet player and composer, and today I'm going to show you how to make a trumpet plunger mute. So basically, a plunger mute for trumpet is just a normal plumbing plunger. I usually use a sink plunger because it's a little bit smaller that has the handle removed and you use it as a trumpet mute. Make sure to get a brand new one. Most trumpet players will use it at some point in their career. It's used mostly in jazz music. I'm gonna show you how to make a basic plunger mute, but if you're very serious about your trumpet playing, you should go check out the Hirschman Indigo Plunger. I'll put a link to that in the description. The supplies for this project are going to be, of course, your plunger, a drawer handle, I got mine from Lowe's, two washers, about that size with a small hole in the middle. At Lowe's, these are part number 2576, if you're interested. Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of vice grips, a small hacksaw, an X-Acto knife, and a pair of PVC cutters. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is take the handle out of the plunger. Once you've done that, you're going to take your PVC cutters and you're going to cut the top off of the plunger. Once you have the top taken off, you can throw that away. And then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and cut around this edge to get it as flat as possible. Once you've done taking the top off, you're going to want to create a little hole in the middle. So I usually do that by creating two perpendicular lines right in the center with my X-Acto knife. After that, we're going to open our drawer handle with our scissors and take out all the contents. You can choose whatever kind of knob you want for that. I like this one because I thought it would look cool. You're going to also take the screw out. You notice if you put the screw all the way in, it's going to stick out a little bit too much for what we're going for. So what I'm going to do is take the hacksaw and chop a little bit off the screw. I'm going to put it in a pair of vice grips to make it a little bit easier. After you've cut the screw, make sure the threads are still intact. Once you have all your components, you can start putting it together. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your screw and put a washer over it. And you're going to stick it through the center of the plunger from the inside. When it comes through, it doesn't really matter if it looks pretty or not. And you're going to put the other washer on. Last, you're going to put your handle on. Last, you're going to want to finish screwing it together with a Phillips head screwdriver. One of the last things I do when I make a plunger view is I get a little bit of craft felt and I attach it to the inside to cover that washer. That way, if you use a metal pixie mute, it won't make a clicking sound and it won't damage your mute. I usually just use a square of felt. You can definitely cut down the felt to be the exact size of the washer on the inside. A number of trumpet players suggest that you drill a small hole or a couple small holes in your plunger and that will affect tuning but try some different things, see what works best for you. Well, there you have it. You've made a trumpet plunger mute. So go try it, go try it with a pixie mute, see what you like, try some new stuff with it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.